When lecturer in the School of Earth, Society, and Environment at the U of I, Rob Cantor, was taking one of his daily strolls at the Boneyard Creek, he noticed something that should not be there. What he observed was discharge from a pipe flowing into the creek. My initial reaction was, you know, how disappointing. There's something coming out of that pipe again into the Boneyard Creek. After learning about the pollution entering the creek, he quickly alerted the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency and the Facilities and Services Center at the U of I to investigate the cause of the discharge. Putting some dye in, uh, you know, to certain drains and, and seeing, you know, if they could track down and, and where it would go. And I would maybe give them some ideas as to, uh, you know, what the cause would be. Uh, maybe try to rule out some different things as well. The latest test results conducted at Talbot Laboratory in Urbana narrowed the location down to the sanitary sewer west of Talbot. The city of Champaign also brought in a sewer televising company to televise the storm sewer to further observe the pipe. One way Britweiser and Cantor hope to limit pollution here at Boneyard Creek is by, wa is by raising awareness about all the different kinds of wildlife here at the creek. What goes down the storm drains, you know, drains into these waterways and that, you know, it's vital to protect them because you know, nobody wants to see, um, you know, the aquatic life, uh, you know, being harmed that's in the Boneyard Creek. Rob Cantor hopes that people will learn from this occurrence and try to make a greater effort in keeping the creek clean. I would like it if we as a society t could come to, instead of saying, well, close enough, we would say, why isn't this stream, you know, pristine? In Urbana, I'm Carl Rosenberg, UI7 News.